Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Allie. If you're new here, I upload beauty, Bible, and lifestyle, vi lifestyle videos. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. Alright you guys, so for today's video, I have a Shop My Stash get ready with me. We're actually going to have the Shop My Stash part in this one. So yes, last one, the files were corrupted. I, I don't know what happened to it, but that's what happened to the Shop My Stash in the last one. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and get into picking out the makeup. So obviously I already picked out the makeup two weeks ago. Nobody ever told me if they liked that style, so I'm sticking with it and I'm running with it. So yeah, let's go ahead and go back in time to where I picked out the makeup. And then I'll see you back here to apply the makeup. <laughs> All right, you guys, time to pick out my makeup for the next two weeks. So um, I'm excited because I got a few things that I wanted to try out. So I got a new concealer. So I'm going to pick this concealer right here. And then we will pull out the NYX concealer. And then I do wanna use this KVD Beauty foundation. That's their Apple foundation. Um, I got this color corrector that I just got. I really wanna try that for underneath my eyes. Um, for foundation, let's play with the Uoma um, Beauty one. And then I did try this, I did buy this new Bobbi Brown one for primer. So I'm gonna take that, but then I'm also gonna take, all right, and now for blush. Okay, so I am gonna take this Undone Beauty for cream bronzer. That'll be the only cream bronzer. Or you know what, let's take the e.l.f. one too, because I'm really close to finishing that one up, as you can see. Let's take these cream blushes from Purelissy. Okay, for setting powder. I really don't know. Maybe I'll just go ahead and keep this CoverGirl one from the last couple of weeks can't harm um i will take this clean covergirl clean fresh powder as well oh two covergirl powders that was not intentional and then for highlight let's take um wet and wild and essence and then for bronzer i think we should just do another bronzing palette all right and then for bronzer i think what we're gonna do is take the morphe palette and then for blush and a couple extra highlighters, I guess, we can take the Glowing and Grease that has three blushes in there and three highlighters. Okay, for eyeshadow, I think I'm gonna use this Alan Mar Cosmetics eyeshadow palette, the Spanglish one. Yeah, that's really pretty, but I am gonna need this. And then for a high-end eyeshadow palette, I was already looking in here earlier, and I think I'm gonna take this Spotlight one. Okay, so for mascara, I'm gonna take my It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. That's the only one, I've been missing it. I got a new brow glue, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it to try it. But for brows, you know, I was really missing the definer type of brow, but I will take this pen and this one right here. That's the Item Beauty one. Sorry, I know people don't like when I don't say um, the names of stuff. Um, for liquid liner this time, we'll take the Essence one and then Wet n Wild for black. And let's do something a little risque over here. We'll take a nude and then like this little copper type eyeshadow from Otticelli and ColourPop. For lips, I just got some new lip liners really, so I'm going to take these two one is in sandstorm which is this one and then this one is in croquettes we will take these i have another one that's more nude it might be in my purse so i'll have to pick another one two nyx we'll take nyx butter gloss in creme brulee and a nyx gloss in cookies and milk and then for setting spray We'll take Milani Make It Last. 
And that is it, you guys. Like I said, if I ever want lashes or need lashes, I'll come grab them. But my makeup has been so simple, I don't need them unless I'm going on a date night. I'll put some on. Yeah, you guys, that is everything that we have for the next two weeks. And I am so excited. I cannot wait. I have really been loving doing this. So um, let's go ahead and get into it. I've been combining both. Of the, ooh, I have been combining both of the primers I picked out, the Bobbi Brown and the Giorgio Armani. I feel so bougie. <laughs> This one was sent to me. This little one is 20, so I could afford it. <laughs> oh, who is she, Miss Bougie? Also, my nails are pressed on it. I feel like I did a pretty good job this time. So I like to use this one first. I don't know why. I just do. Uh, okay, then we're gonna do the Giorgio Armani one. This one adds a really pretty glow, so if you ever wonder what that glow is underneath my makeup, it's this. Oh, it's dripping. All right, and so now that we have that done, we are gonna go ahead and get into doing our brows, and I'm just gonna do my everyday makeup look, because I got a lot to do today, and I will do the everyday makeup look that I've been doing with the eyeshadow, just so that way we can use as many products as possible that I picked out. So this was the only brow pencil I picked out, and I really wish I could remind myself to pick out just a regular brow pencil, one that's not a definer. I'm just brushing that line out so it's not so harsh. And then we are gonna go in with our brow pen and just start like filling in those bald spots. Alright, so brows are done. They're intense. Sisters, not twins. Gotta remind myself. Okay, so this is literally all I've been doing for eyeshadow. I guess I will clean up my brows just a tiny bit because I'm gonna conceal my lids just so we can actually see the eyeshadow. So I've actually used both, I used both, oh my gosh, I used both palettes pretty much equally, but the, I wanna use this one today. I love the shimmers in here. I wish there was just a, a, a lighter, um, I feel like I can't find my words. I wish that there was a little bit of a lighter crease shade in there, but there's really not. So that's why I wanna use this one today. And we're not setting down anything or at all. So we're just gonna take a fluffy brush and then I'm gonna go in with public eye and we're just gonna buff that into the crease. And this has literally been my everyday eyeshadow look. So we'll just so there's that. And then I'm gonna take this shade called Exhibit and that's what we're gonna use on our lid. And this is why I haven't really been wearing lashes. I did pull out lashes one day last week and I just, I couldn't. Like, I just feel like that's not me anymore. I don't know. Really been loving the natural lashes. So yeah, just something simple like this with a little bitty baby wing. So we're gonna go in. Um, I did pick up, I bought this. I bought this eyeliner from Profusion because what would Lizzie do is always talking about it and she loves it. My eyes water a lot. I guess I'll use this one because I struggled. I used this one yesterday and I struggled with my wing. So we will use this one today from Profusion. I don't feel like it's as waterproof as the Essence one. My eyes can water with the Essence one and the wing will not go anywhere. This one, not so much. But we're not going to do a huge dramatic wing. We'll see. We'll see what my hand does. But yeah, we're just going to do a little wing.
All right, that's as good as that wing is gonna get because your girl done took it off like three or look at all these Q-tips I used to fix that freaking wing. Four Q-tips to fix that freaking wing. I'm done with it. We're gonna add a mascara. About to go back to using my eye tapes to do a wing. Okay, so for mascara, I originally picked out the It Cosmetics one, but I did buy a little set from Uoma Beauty by Sharon C at Walmart, and it had this little sample mascara from them. So I just added it right into there. And if I buy new makeup, I just add it right into my little makeup basket to start using. Because I don't buy makeup like I once did. Like, I'm not buying makeup for makeup hauls or anything like that. Like, I'm just buying makeup, makeup because it's genuinely things that I want to try out. Maybe I'll start incor incorporating, like, my little mini hauls in my vlogs. But I don't think I'll actually sit down and do, like, actual hauls again unless it's, like, grocery, household, or anything like that. Because I'm just not buying makeup like I once did. Like, I, I love makeup. I love putting it on. I love things beauty but i'm not into just spending that money when i have so i don't know my mind's just changing and moral of the story is we're not going to spend unnecessary money but i am going to use the sharon c one and just start coating those lashes this one is actually really similar to the it cosmetics one i will say that okay and for foundation i'm gonna use this one here this is the kvd good apple foundation this is hand down my favorite foundation i use i used all of them equally okay that's a lie i used the liquid cream foundations equally i used my powder foundation the most and you can see i'm starting to hit pan on that one and also starting to hit pan on my good apple foundation that's how much i love it so yeah we're just gonna keep i love applying this with the brush and this is just the real techniques buffing brush and we'll just go in and look how easy it is to apply this this is why this is my favorite foundation of like literally i think like of all time because i don't have to wet a sponge and it gets good coverage and it looks good with a brush it's very it's very hard to find a foundation and i'm using the shade medium 030 this was actually sent to me i should have paid attention to the ulta beauty sale 21 days of beauty sale to see if this foundation was on sale and if it was i'm upset <laughs> all right so now that we have that on i've really been liking this um Hey, and I just end up leaving like everything out and don't put anything back. So I'm getting ready every day. I do not do that. But the Makeup Revolution Color Corrector, a little bit of this goes a long way. When I tell you I've been using this literally almost every day for the last two weeks, I have. But a little bit of it goes such a long way. Like that was just one little dab of my finger and I still have some on there. So I just like to take my finger and blend that out. And I'm careful not to get this one in my eye because this burns. This burns if you get it in your eye. Which kind of sucks because it's made for your under eye. So it's very close to your eye. And look at that. Like I almost don't even need concealer. And for concealer, I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution one just because I don't have the time to pull out the brush for the next one and apply it. So we're just sticking to this. That's literally all I've been doing for concealer. And then blending this out with a little brush. I like to dab first. And then and I just covered up that wing that I worked so hard on everyone. Okay, so for setting powder, again, I'm just not liking powder foundations for setting. So I've really been sticking to this CoverGirl one. And whenever I do my makeup with a brush, I set with a brush. And we're just going to push that in. I feel like it keeps it from looking too powder powdery or too thick, which is weird, I know, because it's a powder. But it's what works for me, and I like it. Alright, so now that we are done setting, I guess I will go ahead and go in with eyeliner. I'm going to use the copper one that I picked out. And then we're just going to apply some lower mascara. Okay, so mascara is done. What time is it? I got somewhere to be in two hours. Got, okay, I picked out the Morphe one. I really liked using the Morphe one, and I would take this one, which I might do today, 
I'll do it today just so I can show you guys. I take this lighter shade because you see how that powder makes my face a smidge too light to match my neck. And I've just been adding that like basically just to blend my face in with my neck. I don't take a lot. Like I'm not changing the color. I'm not making myself orange. I'm just adding some color to match that way my foundation doesn't look like it's too light for me so yeah that's what i've been doing with that mostly and then i did pick up this physician's formula bronzer this is called their butter puff bronzer and so this is actually i like this this is really pretty i'm just bronzing with that <laughs> kind of take my bronzer a little bit too low so we're going back in with that powder brush and we're just going to kind of clean that up right there and then for blush i'm going to use this palette obviously because that's all that i picked out for blush and i didn't buy any new blushes so i'm going to go in with um i don't know which color am i feeling today um, i'm going to go with this like muted dusky mauve shade and i like to dab this one because it's intense and I feel like, in my mind, dabbing helps me control the amount of product I'm putting on, rather than swiping. We're just gonna blend all that together. Like we want it to look seamless. Okay, and then for highlighter, I picked out two, but the one that I was loving the most was this Wet n Wild one. Like, I don't know, I don't know if I just forgot how pretty these were or how good they were. And I've had this for like ever, and I'm finally starting to hit pan on it, because. I could not put it down these last two weeks. Kind of messed that wing up, but we're not going to fix it because I'll be taking it all off again. So now we're going to curl our lashes. Then for brow gel, going in with this brow glue. This is brow glue. Like, I have figured out how to use it. But man, if you don't like crunchy brows, don't get this. You're not going to like it. But your brows will stay in place all day. But like I said, if you don't like the crunchy brows, don't like it. So I'll just apply like a thin layer. But I go back in and brush it out with like a brow brush. Because just to take out some of that product. Because it's it's intense. It's really intense. I'm debating on picking out a pomade for next two weeks. I don't know. We'll see. So... Going in with the lip liner in Croquette. All right, so I'm gonna take the Croquette lip liner and we're just gonna outline our lips. That's it, and I'm not using either one of these. I've just discovered I'm not a super nude lip type of person. I do love a good clear gloss with lip liner and that's just been my jam lately. All right, you guys, so that is it for today's makeup look and shop my stash. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I'm really loving doing this just because I'm starting to use more products and pick out more of my makeup products, and I'm really starting to learn, like, what's my vibe and what's not influenced by YouTube and what's not influenced by other people who have the time to do full glam every day. And look at this. Like, it looks like I did full glam, and without all of the interruptions, like, if I did this standing in my bathroom not filming, like, I would have this done in like 10 to 15 minutes, 20 max if I struggle with the wing. But 10 to 15 minutes tops every single time. Sometimes I can do this, I can do an easier makeup look in five minutes and I've really, really, really been loving doing this. Like if I just do a powder foundation, over concealer, blush, bronzer, mascara, brows, like that's how like I'm really starting to love doing this. I don't know, but yeah, I'm loving figuring out like what I actually like and seeing how like you know makeup is you you make it your own like you don't have to keep up with the makeup artists you don't have to keep up with the girls who do the full glam at all the time when this this is me this is who i am this is the makeup that i like and i'm loving to do it this way and i hope that you guys don't mind that like i'm not going to be doing like the big makeup reviews anymore i'm not going to be doing like the hauls um i'll do like chit chat get ready with me's um, if you guys send me like a makeup look that you guys want me to do and I'll, I'll recreate it I'll do things like that like I'll recreate makeup looks I'll continue to do my shop my stash videos chit chat get ready with me's Q&A get ready with me but I don't know my heart's just my heart and mine are just not where it was whenever I set the started my channel like I feel like I'm growing I'm evolving into something bigger and better and so yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed this i love you guys um if you haven't already please go ahead and give me a thumbs up also hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys Mwah!